Assalamu alaikum. I am welcoming in this discussion session all of my dear farmers. Today I will discuss about pond preparation. What is pond preparation? Pond preparation is that it does not mean that the digging of pond or preparing of the dike or anything else. Pond preparation means uh, the preparation of the pond for releasing the fingerling of fish. What should we do? If we release our fingerling in our pond directly, then there may create some problems because the last uh, season from when uh, from we harvested our fishes then the deposition of the different type of organic substances those are deposited in the pond so starting of pond preparation at first we are to apply near about 2 kg of calcium oxide or hydroxide you are to purchase the calcium oxide in dry condition that is 2 kg and after wetting it by applying water uh, this is calcium hydroxide it should be sprayed just over all the bottom of the pond and then we have to uh, we have to uh, observe it either this pond was full of mud or not number of people they also suggest the farmers to remove different type of uh, mud as because the pond with the maximum mud that is the cause of deposition of organic uh, substances which creates the different type of problems during the fish culture. But what is mud? I have to know it. What is mud? Mud is nothing but the soil particle and at the same time the organic substances. So I think this is the uh, blaze of the nature that is the deposition of organic ma matter so we are not to remove if there be depth of the pond is uh, proper then it is not necessary to remove the uh, mud but if the depth is very low that is the water depth become 3 feet or simply 3 and 3.5 feet or 4 feet then you are to remove number of amount of uh, mud from the bottom of the pond otherwise it is not necessary now you have to apply organic manure like compost it may be cow dung near about 5 kg to 8 kg per decimal you know the decimal uh, decimal is when a area of 435.6 square feet is one decimal then we apply 5 to 8 uh, kg of organic manure it may be cow dung or any decomposed manure also for the fulfill of the requirement of the pond and firstly applying the uh, lime then we have to apply organic manure you may also use uh, dhoncha or the compost that you can make and after that it will be better for a farmer to plow the bottom of the pond to make a mixture which will extend or create the water retention capacity of the soil so that when we will uh, pour the water in the pond it cannot be seepage out or leakage out in combination of organic substances and lime and the soil particle it will create a compact form of mud in presence of water uh, it should be plowed otherwise we are to apply 5 kg per bigha that is 33 decimal of only diammonium phosphate if it be not be available then you can apply 5 kg SSP and or TSP and uh, 2.5 kg of urea 
in presence of water and the, we are to pour the water uh, or the allow the any motor shallow motor or pump to enter the water in this pond and within a few days the color few days means within two or three days the color will be changed into green water then we may think that the pond is ready for the releasing of fingerling this is the uh, term pond preparation as it is described on the other hand we have to uh, clean if necessary the uh, different type of uh, weeds uh, at the, at the uh, side of the uh, dike which can disturb you otherwise it is not necessary and at the same time we have to observe the either the water become colorful or not if it does not uh, turn into greenish water then again we have to use uh, suppose uh, the organic manure or it may be so that uh, flower of wheat wheat flower or uh, uh, with uh, such a dose that is we are to allow in a, a container that is uh, 2.5 kg of flour and 200 gram to 250 gram of urea or TSP uh, and we have to fill up the water uh, the, the container with water and then after 24 hours then we, we will apply uh, the mixture in the pond and within one day it will turn into green water here another is another question is uh, uh, may arise that why are we using the uh, lime we are to using the lime that what does that lime do the lime helps the decomposition of excess of organic substances those are present in the pond and it may require the more and more kg of lime for the decomposition for the completion of the decomposition of the uh, organic substances it is not quite not harmful and we have to ensure the color because when we will release the fingerling in the pond then it will find that the requirement of oxygen which which is possible that is to be filled of the requirement of the uh, fish when the water become green because the green water means the presence of a, a microscopic algae which is known as phytoplankton that is plant plankton which is known as phytoplankton which continues the photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight and absorb the carbon dioxide from the water and release the oxygen in the water by which the fish can respire so this is the uh, known as the pond preparation and previously it was found that the farmers only apply uh, the organic manure and it do not fulfill the requirement of the pond. So if we want to release the fishes in our pond and we have to ensure the color, first color. And if we can do this and then it will help the uh, fish to get proper oxygen and this is known as the pond preparation in fish culture so thank you thank you all uh, for this class